Now, at this point, <laughs> now we're about to build our home base. <laughs> Finally, after several hours of not talking about social media, now finally we will talk social media. First of all, I have to talk about the social media framework. There are three major components. One is the home base, and this is your digital property. This is what you own and control. Either you paid for it or it's under your name. So this can be a website or a blog. And definitely you need to have an email address you can call your own. Okay. And then you set up your embassies. Ah, embassy. Which means these are um, uh, online places that you do not own but you have a profile there okay so this can be facebook twitter Th these are places where you have a regular presence in you're always there so the social media uh, properties uh, definitely qualify for this and sometimes um, if, if some of you may be invited to write a regular blog post in somebody else's blog that can be your embassy because you have a presence there you can talk about your project there okay so that provides additional you know media mileage for your project or if there is somebody who keeps talking about your project <laughs> that would be good because that can be an embassy as well okay the third element and you will not really be dwelling on this, an outpost. These are, uh, these are places you don't own. You do not have a regular presence here. But every now and then, if, it get, if your project gets talked about there, it would be good to interact with people in that, in that area. So this is a listening post. This is valuable for marketers. In our case, it's not that um, uh, uh, critical. So we will not talk about outposts in our case today. Okay? So we will concentrate on a home base and the embassies. Visually, this is probably how I'd look at it. So you have your home base, you have your website or your blog, and then you will have to have your email that's uh, named after you or named after your organization. And then you send out, you go to uh, your external presence, your embassies, which means you will, have to, you will have to have your social media presence and third-party websites that, where you can be present in. Okay? So this is your basic framework. So how do they work together in the context of your community and your, uh, your committed, uh, committed supporters and your core? This is how I look at it, okay? Everything should be in your website. All of the critical information should be in your website. That's what you own. So that's your home base. So all of your um, promotional articles about your project should be there. All of the stories should be there. All of the endorsements should be there. And you must have a facility for uh, accepting donations in your in your home base in your website okay you must have an ongoing blog within your website so, so you can continue to talk about your project okay so that's your website so everything must be connected to your website now as you talk with your core well most of the time you just talk to them in the office <laughs> right or if you have a regular meeting if it's an, it's an it's, a, uh, it's, a, it's an association or an organization where um, members meet every month. Then the meeting every month can be your venue for, for discussion. Or, or you can have a regular email with them. This is you talking with your members, talking with your core members, directly, personally talking with them. You use email. 
If you can talk to them one-on-one, -on -one, face to face, which is the best, right? If you cannot, because somebody's in Dubai, somebody's in uh, Malaysia, somebody's in, uh, in the US, you can talk to them every day. Maybe you can talk with them over Skype every now and then, but not regularly. You need a regular means of communication with them. And I suggest, there's not a rule, I suggest you use a regular, a, a regular email. Better if you have an email newsletter so that you can regularly update them on what's happening in your organization. So that's your first tool, email. Of course, you have your social media, right? So, uh, uh, wait, the, with the case of email, you can talk to your core and also to your financial supporters. So you talk to your financial supporters directly through email. If you cannot talk to them one-on-one, -on -one, and I would have to uh, encourage you that if you have people who donate millions of pesos, you have to visit that person every month if possible or every quarter. So there's a level of relationship uh, uh, intensity depending on the amount that, that they give you or the value that they deliver to your organization, okay? But in, the, in, in most cases, uh, the only means of regular communication, if not direct one-on-one, uh, -on -one, face -to face communication, it would have to be an email communication with your committed supporters, okay? Understood? Now, what's the role of social media? The social media is really for community building. It is, it is a place where people can, you know, can jump in and listen to stories about their organization. A person has several social media participation. They, they are members of several groups. They, they, are, they have liked several, uh, uh, several uh, Facebook pages, okay? So their, um, uh, their timeline is flooded with so much stories and information so in all of that your story has to be remarkable okay but uh, the important thing here is that they have a place to go people who get to hear about your your project and they like it they're interested in it not enough to give at this point but they're interested enough to you know get updated about what's happening they can like your social media page they can continue to listen in. They may like the project because of you, because they like you as a person, you're my friend, and you have a project, oh, sure, why not? I'll, you know, I'll, I'll like your page, why not? But they get to listen in, okay? So you leverage your relationship. If you have several people in your organization, you leverage those relationships, invite those people in to like your page. If your stories are remarkable, those uh, friends may be able to recommend it to their friends as well. So you build your community. And then if you have third-party websites, so these will be beyond your control. They will, they will have their own networks. They cannot, you know, they, you cannot really uh, give them updates uh, regularly. But what you do here is, in a sense, build your credibility. You are known not only in your circle, but in a wider circle. So people get to know about your project from these third-party uh, uh, websites. Somehow it gives it a sense of legitimacy. You're not, it's not just you talking about it, somebody else is talking about it. Most especially if it's a news website, a, a columnist talks about you, great or there's an event and you get covered, great. There's a blogger who has a lot of followers, he talks about you and your project, oh great, okay? So you have third party endorsement. It reaches out to your crowd so that sometime later, maybe you can invite them in to become part of your community. You ask them to like your page, okay? So I, th that is how I would see these things working together. You want those in the crowd, as you talk to them, to like your page. So every, every time you get reported 
or talked about by other websites, you have to make sure your project web uh, Facebook page is there or you have an email there so that they know how to get in touch with you. Give them an, a, a way for people to get in touch with you or people in your project. Make that as a rule every time you do, it, you do that. With your social media, the, the basic idea here, the goal here, is for people in your community to become really interested in the project that they want to give. Okay? So you, you fan the, the flame. Uh, uh, you, you, draw, you drew them in because of the wow factor of your project, and then you keep telling stories to remind them of the wow factor. You fan the flame until you reach a point where you say, hey, we need help. Can you help us by giving whatever? You begin to ask them directly for support. With, with people in the, uh, in the committed area, you want to, you, you know, you even want to fan the flame even harder because you're now talking to them one-on-one -on -one directly. This should not, well, ideally, this should not appear like this is a, you know, this is an email to everyone broadcast to, to 15 million people all over the world. It should appear like Hey, Jonathan, uh, great to, to link up with you. Uh, I'm so happy that you, you know, you've been supporting us for quite a while. And I just want to tell you this, what's happening with our project. There's some more personal communication. This can uh, come in hand in hand with a newsletter. So you have a, you have a personal message. And by the way, we have a newsletter. Uh, we'll tell you all about what's happening. Uh, in that use theater and so enjoy something like that okay that's how they work together